The SHM Financial Group has been providing investors in South Jersey with financial strategies and solutions since 1958. We are a family business, an independent financial planning, wealth accumulation, and asset management firm, and we call South Jersey home. More information is available at shmfinancial.com. This is South Jersey Showcases, all that we love about our communities, and we are proud supporters of this show and NJTV. Funding for This is South Jersey is provided by Atlantic City Electric, investing in system improvements to meet the needs of a changing world. Over the last five years, Atlantic City Electric has replaced and upgraded transformers, poles, and wires in an effort to enhance reliability to their customers. Atlantic City Electric, energy for a changing world. This is South Jersey with Marianne Aliardi is a production of SJ Magazine. You may think you know New Jersey. You may think you know how we dress and how we talk, how we argue with our husbands and then get drunk on the boardwalk, but that's really not who we are. There's so much more to South Jersey. We have everything all in one place. We have museums, we have beaches, we have farms, we have great neighborhoods. There's so many reasons to live here and visit here, and we're gonna show them all to you. Come with me as we explore all that South Jersey has to offer the people oh, and the places. We are off the ground right now. We are off the ground. Toast to South Jersey. To South Jersey. Cheers. I'm Marianne Aliardi, and this is South Jersey. South Jersey has beautiful wineries, as you can see, and they each offer something a little different. Tonight, some very lucky friends of mine are here with me for a tavern tasting. We are at Amathea Cellars in Atco. You can do this. You can gather your friends, come to this beautiful location, enjoy each other, have some good food, and taste some really good wine. South Jersey wineries have come so far. They offer so many things for you to do, like girls' night outs, wine festivals, and all kinds of tastings. Before our tavern tasting, owner Louis Caracciolo is going to take me on a quick tour of this beautiful winery. This is breathtaking. How many acres do you have? We have six here, and we contract with other growers who grow grape for us. And those are local farmers? Oh, yeah, Terrific. along the region. How many bottles of wine does that produce? About 60,000, so, which is not a lot. It sounds like it, but it it's premium. Like it, yes. What different kinds of wine do you make? Cabernet Sauvignons, the Chardonnays, the Merlots, the Syrahs, all those. You make them all. How mm -hmm. did you learn how to make all those different wines? My grandfather came over from Italy, and then I actually worked at Chateau Margaux in France, and I picked up the old world style there and brought it to New Jersey. I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear that because they don't think of New Jersey wines as having that level of sophistication. Well, for 350 years, we couldn't grow the old world grapes like Cabernet and like France. So we had a lot of sweet Concord. They were great and we made a lot of fruit wines. Now we're lifting the style into the new world and the old world style as well. If people come here and they want to taste your wine, what can they do? They picnic, they hang out, meet new friends, they bonfire. We have special tastings, pairing wine and food. It sounds fantastic. Just get a bottle of wine and sit in this beautiful vineyard and enjoy friends. These grapes, where do they go from here? We pick them and then they get crushed in the cellar. I can show you our French cellar if you'd like to see it. Yeah, I would love to see it. Okay. While we head to the wine cellar, my friends are heading into the tavern, and Lou and I are meeting up with my husband, Joe. Joe's a big red wine fan, so I thought he'd be good for this tasting. Oh, this is such a cool room. Can you describe for me the process of making wine? Classic wines like this has been made the same way for 2,000 years. You crush the grape, you cook them, we call it, for about 20 days, and then into a barrel and onto your table in two years. Would you like to taste them? I would love to taste them, yes. Okay, here, grab a glass. This is still new Merlot. This is called a wine thief. And what we do is, I'm thiefing wine from the fresh barrel. This will be another year before it comes out of the barrel to be bottled. Another this is year. also an ancient process of thiefing the barrel. Yeah. It's been in about a year right now. When I taste it now, how will it compare to when it's ready? 
Right now, it's gonna taste fresher, like a homemade wine. And then it continues to cure as it ages in the barrel. Cheers. Right, cheers. cheers. Not bad for New Jersey, Not right? Not bad at all. Very good. Very good. You know, we have a whole group of friends over there drinking wine, having a good time. We should go catch up. Join them. We should. Yeah, yeah. We should. We are ready for the best part of the night. These tavern tastings are held four times a month on the weekend. You and a small group of friends will taste four wines paired with some delicious hors d'oeuvres. It's such a special evening. Hi everybody, welcome to Almathea's Cellars at our TNT tasting. My name is Holly, I will be your sommelier tonight. I want to start you off today with one of our estate grown wines. It's our Chardonnay Reserve from 2010. So let's get started. One of my friends tonight is Lou Capelli. He's the Camden County Freeholder Director, and in the past few years, he's done a lot of work to change laws to help South Jersey wineries. There was a prohibition era law which prevented our wineries from shipping their wine out of the state of New Jersey. That's, inc that's just insane. It, it really just doesn't is. Make sense. It had to hurt the wineries, right? It definitely hurt the wineries, yeah. and each year since we've had this law passed, the wineries have sold records amount of wine. Really? Year after year after year. More farmers are growing grapes, more wine is being sold, gardens being put back into the garden state. Yeah, that's it's a good thing. It's just a good thing, that's and wonderful. you know what? Yeah. Right now we're trying to convince farmers to convert crops to grapes. Really? Because the demand for New Jersey wine has increased to such an extent that we now need more people, more farmers to grow grapes. So it's a great success story. This is an industry that will probably double or triple in the future. Changing that law has really had a significant impact on the economy in South Jersey. Absolutely, jobs have been created. Our wine is being shipped to China, Alaska, California. So People all over the world are now realizing that great wine is being made here in New Jersey. In South Jersey. Absolutely, We're right so here in South Jersey. Yes, that's right. Yes. Great, well cheers. Cheers to you. We're gonna move on to our next wine. You ready for the pour? Our evening was magical. Good friends, good food, and great wine. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, check out a South Jersey winery. You just might think you're somewhere else, but no, you'll be in South Jersey. Toast to South Jersey. South Jersey. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.